Hi, it's Nancy with Real Mom Real Solutions. So I am a mother of 17 kids. So my five oldest kids are married and have moved out of my home. Um, but I still have 12 that are living here. Um, however, my other five pretty much live here and <laughs> just don't sleep here. Anyway, they still come over a lot along with my seven grandkids. So we have a very full home. A lot of you have been asking for a new home tour. Um, we've made a lot of changes. Uh, in fact, we did a video on our crazy home makeover. So we're gonna show you guys a little more detail on that and kind of go through some of the things that I love about it and some of the things that I wish I would have done different or things I still want to change. <laughs> Scary. Before we get into that, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get started. <laughs> Hi, this is our house. So this is the entryway. And it looks, I absolutely love the dome <coughs> and the circle, this, what do you call it? Circle staircase. <laughs> Spiral. The spiral staircase. There you go. Our, our spiral staircase that we and we, yeah. And um, we restained, and the kids they and go. And they already wore it down because we didn't do enough enough um, clear coats. And because they slide down the banister. Yes, it looks scary actually, but they've never gotten <laughs> hurt. <laughs> All right, yeah, what's surgery. next? All right, so this is our music room slash study room, um, and. We actually changed it before we had like a computer station thing going all across there. Um, we changed it over here and lightened it up. We repainted and I like it so much better. Um, we only have the two stations, but really we only had two stations before anyway. It just was a long two stations. And now it's condensed a little bit, but it gave us a lot more seating that's more comfortable. Um, we also have the seating over here. So all together in our entryway area, we have quite a bit of seating, which my husband uses this for meetings a lot of times, um, or the kids use it, I think more for anything. They just play in here, even though they're not supposed to. <laughs> all right, so then it moves into our kitchen. Um, the kitchen, we did change the paint, but it's very similar to how it was. So probably not gonna look too much different to everybody. Um, we did uh, change a little bit on the decorations, but I love having a round table when, they, when everyone is sitting up to the table for mealtime. It just feels like you're closer to everyone instead of the kids clear down on the other end. Um, so I do really enjoy having a round table. We have a lady student, but not seeing us right now. That's, that's normal for it to be not this clean or not that clean. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is clean. <laughs> <laughs> for how the kids clean, then that's pretty clean. So, and a lot of you asked in my last video and said, you must have a maid. We don't have a maid. I would love to have a maid, but our maid is me and my kids. So, <laughs> this is clean because the kids cleaned it. When I clean it, it might look a little different. <laughs> um, we have two dishwashers. We only had one in our last tour. Um, we added in another dishwasher, which has been so much nicer. It's a lot easier to keep up on the dishes. So another um, thing that I added into my kitchen is I just put one of the, I don't know what these things are called. But oh, awesome. Yeah, <laughs> a shelf that pops out. <laughs> anyway, so I have my uh, Bosch and my blender on there um, and it just gives us a more of a work, more working space, I guess. And it's easy to put it away so that it doesn't have to be out and cluttered all the time. But we use them often enough that it was worth installing that. So that was just something that we just installed ourselves. One thing that I do still want to do in my kitchen is I want to repaint my cabinets, but that is going to take a lot of work and, and it will be pretty expensive. So I actually want to do them kind of this color right here. I don't know what color that is. It looks like it's brown. Brown. <laughs> just brown? <kidding. laughs> right. yeah, just kind of a light brown color. I just don't like the yellow look of them. Anyway, I actually considered doing them white, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I want white, and I definitely don't want dark. So I'm thinking maybe brown. I just don't like the yellow that they are. But yeah, that will be a way down the road, I'm sure. Oh, what's the matter? Did you fall downstairs? Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we go into 
uh, laundry room, which I redid the laundry room and I've already done a video on that, so you've seen this before, but it's a lot nicer than it was, and sorry, we're in the middle of using it, so our iron's out. But um, we used to have a stackable washer and dryer with a cabinet on the side of it. We switched over to the larger units, so they're not stackable anymore, but it's a lot nicer and it just seems a lot nicer in here. Um, this is our changing station. We have a lot of kids, as you know, so this uh, just makes it convenient for changing kids. We have basically a changing station on every level of the house, so it's, it makes it convenient and really easy to change the kids when you need to. Um, then we have a bathroom, which I just have the lights that go on automatically because our kids are little and can't always reach the door that, that's light switched. But um, we changed out the sink. We used to have a really dumb sink in here that was hard for the kids to use. So we changed it out to a regular sink and put in storage for tissue and stuff in here. Um, and yeah, painted it a lot lighter. So just kind of brightened it up. Yeah, that's our bathroom. <laughs> and then we have a garage here. Uh, we haven't made any changes to the garage either, but we'll show you guys. Um, yeah, our van barely, barely fits in here. In fact, on, it, it's up. to the centimeter. Like, we have to actually touch the back and the front. Like, if you're not completely backed in, it doesn't fit. You have to cut <laughs> Shirak out. Yes. So it is a very tight squeeze, but I was determined to park in here. <laughs> so much nicer. Um, we have a, a system for the kids, or not a system, what do you call it? Storage. Cubbies for their coats and backpacks and things. Anyway, so right when they get out of the car, they can put their stuff here. Do they? Absolutely not, but they have that option. <laughs> They're supposed to. <laughs> what about those over there? Uh, these? Oh, our fridge. Yeah, we have full, uh, two freezers and a fridge freezer. Um, for all of our food. Our grocery <laughs> and, haul. Yep, our grocery haul. Um, so anyway, with the cubbies, then each one of the kids have three hooks in their cubby, um, so they can have, well, except for that one's missing one. <laughs> we have a hook in the back and two hooks on the sides, one for backpacks, coats, and jackets. Um, anyway, so they store all their stuff in there, and then they have a, a spot at the top of each one of them um, to put like their gloves and hats and scarves and whatever. Um, accessories, whatever that they have. Um, Beckett, should we go in the house? Come on. He, okay. like, he uh, likes ice. And then we have a freeze dryer that we just recently purchased. So we're actually gonna do a video on some of the different things that we've been doing for that. Her dragon. She got a play kit for Christmas and she's been uh, making all sorts of stuff. So that's pretty cool. She's very artistic, huh, Juliet? <laughs> Becky likes too. Yes. There you go. All right. <laughs> See that jungle gym downstairs paying off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here, you can watch it just one time up there, okay? okay. Uh, Juliet, make sure you say for. our family room. Good morning. Did you wake up from your nap? Hi, sweetheart. It's still kind of creepy. Okay, so this is our family room. Um, we have changed the color of paint in here. It made it a lot brighter. These are our cubbies, and I absolutely love having these. When the kids do their jobs, and they find something that belongs to a per to one of the kids, then and we're actually in the middle of putting names on them. We just updated to a new band. But, um, each one of the kids have their own bin and you put their stuff in their bin and then at the end of the day, then they empty their own bin. That way the kids aren't running around to all the bedrooms trying to put stuff away and messing up other people's rooms and taking a lot longer on their jobs. So it just keeps everything in a central place um, and makes it faster to clean. We used to have an entertainment center and we took the entertainment center out and did a fireplace just because it kind of made it more spacious, I guess, um, and it gave us a bit of a fireplace. This house, unfortunately, did not have a real fireplace. One of these days, we might have to put a real one in, but yeah, one of these days. <laughs> so that's something that I would like to do in the future, but it'll be a little ways out in the future. <laughs> um, and then our couch actually fits all of us on it, so our whole family will fit on the couch. Um, so this room is pretty big. It, uh, 
Anyway, it's nice because we can actually all be in here at the same time. And then we have another a, a second garage here, um, which right now as a working garage, we have um, it's a, project garage. a project garage. There you go. We've got a car that is in the middle of getting fixed. I got it working, but the engine blew. There you go. Yep. Yep, he did. He got it. He got it working, and then the engine blew. So now he's kind of got some more. All right. So in the kitchen is the stairway to go downstairs, and we actually changed a lot of stuff in our basement. Um, we made a daycare room. Okay, so we moved our two little girls out of the nursery and we put them down here. So we'll show you their bedrooms, but uh, this is our daycare room. Um, we have like a kitchen center with the dress up stuff over here and the mirror, all that stuff. Um, and then we have the store. So this is kind of all the dramatic play area, uh, which the kids absolutely love. It's like her, definitely her favorite area of the daycare room. Um, and then we put in a jungle gym and we bolted it to the floor and the wall, so it's pretty sturdy. Um, our old kids actually get on it, even though they're probably not supposed to, but it's pretty sturdy. <laughs> anyway, so, and it, um, yeah, it's got like the, the slide and... Oh. So it's got a slide and the climbing wall and swings and... Anyway, so, I mean, it's, it's kind of small, but it's big enough that that the kids can get a good amount of climbing in <laughs> out of their system. Um, and then we have, uh, this is kind of our baby area, and we have the baby stuff and uh, more, just lots of bins of toys. Oh, shoot. Sorry, Nance. You okay, honey, do you want to hug? Okay. It's okay, come here. Come here, give me a hug, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Do you want to show everybody all the toys? you want to show the toys? You can just walk up and all on me, huh? So we have our baby toys and dinosaurs and uh, like the magnetic blocks and puzzles and all sorts of stuff. There's lots of bins of toys over there and castles and playhouses. And anyway, the kids absolutely love this room. So we have the baby toys on the wall. I don't know, you probably already showed that. Um, and then this is our theater room. And it is not the cleanest. We actually had family sleep in here <laughs> over Christmas and they kind of left their blankets and bottles and stuff all over so <laughs> just kind of ignore the mess but it's kind of dark in here and I guess that's the whole point of a theater room but so this was actually an in the house when we moved in um so but it's been nice to have Yeah, we very seldom actually use it I wouldn't actually put one in if I if it wasn't already here but yeah <laughs> but it's here so we use it every once in a while and it's nice um this is one of the kids bedrooms this is nancy's bedroom huh you share with juliet is that your bed yeah do you like your new bed <laughs> she doesn't sleep in it very often a lot of times she starts in here and then she comes up in the middle of the night and gets in her other bed she is very attached to her other bed but um anyway so we have two of our girls in here um, we repainted this room, made it a lot brighter. It used to be really dark. It still is kind of dark in here. It's just kind of a dark room. It has a window, but it's, um, the window that's under the deck. So it's kind of dark. Um, you should show those toys. What? You should show the, show the wall toys. Oh yeah. So, and the daycare room. So this is like the baby area. We have all of the, anyway, just the wall toys. The kids actually really like this of all ages, the older kids will actually sit there and play with it too. So not just for babies, but you claim it's for babies and then they play with it too. <laughs> but, and then uh, and then we come in here and this is um, the changing area. So we changed diapers in here. So this is our changing station for the daycare slash anyway, just in the basement. So we use it for whenever we need to. Um, and then we have a bathroom right off to the side of it with a shower. And so the girls use this as well as daycare. Come here. Do you want to help us show? And then we have a kitchen in here that we use to feed the kids at daycare. Um, I usually cook everything upstairs because I don't like having food in both places so much. I and mean, we still have some here because we'd have a fridge, but we usually cook the food upstairs and then 
we just serve it down here for the most part but so it's just a small kitchen but it works out really nice to have a right off of the daycare room and then we have a girls' bedroom this is the other two girls bedroom so this is um Porsche's and Ashley's bedroom and they just have a double bed that they share but they actually like that a lot Nancy actually tries to sleep with them in here too they actually they like sleeping with somebody instead of in their own bed so yeah I know a lot of people judge judge me on that but that's okay that's what they like so <laughs> hey and then we'll go back upstairs and show you the bedrooms upstairs okay so this is our game room and we repainted everything up here we put in the brick wall um, I don't think we had the arcade games in our last tour uh, we actually my husband's father used to own a coin operating machine company a distribution anyway so uh, that's kind of just something that was sentimental to him so we actually got a bunch of arcade games and stuff and the kids actually love them which is nice because you don't have the internet access type stuff and the kids can just play without you don't have to worry i guess with everything that's online um anyway so we have several different arcade things and of course we do still have the xbox and switch that we let them play occasionally but um this is just the game room area what's up boys What's your favorite game? Uh, <laughs> Halo. Halo. Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> What's your favorite arcade game? Uh, video game. Predator vs. Alien. Oh, you like that? <laughs> Just off to the side when you first walked up to the upstairs, then we have our nursery. Um, so come in here. Uh, this is where we have our new baby, his crib, and Beckett we moved over to the toddler bed. And that's Nancy's bed that she's trying to transition out of. We'll be moving the rocking chair over there as soon as we get rid of her bed altogether. But she's still kind of stuck to it. Huh? You like that bed? Yeah. <laughs> so she comes up in the middle of the night a lot of times and climbs into that bed. Where's your bed, Nancy? Yep, over there. there. <laughs> Do you have a bed downstairs too? Yeah, you have two beds, huh? Okay, one of these times we might just have to take the old bed. <laughs> Let's move the old bed downstairs. Yeah, move the old bed up. Yeah, that might work. <laughs> and then out of the nursery, you can come in here to the master bedroom. So this is our bathroom. We did not repaint anything in our bedroom or bathroom. I almost did. I came so close to it. <laughs> My bedroom, it's not too terrible. It's just kind of a yellow color. But So here's our bathroom. We have a shower um, and a bathtub separate. And then we have the his and her closet, so both walk in. I don't think you want to go in there though. <laughs> it's it's not the cleanest. So we have our baby sleeps in here for the most of the time. Or well all the time actually. <laughs> but we have the crib that we will be moving them into. Um anyway, so and then we have the two rocking chairs. They're kind of small, but it made so we could fit two of them in here. So we like that a lot. Um yeah, so I did change out my bedding from last time to try to brighten it up. So it used to be a dark blue. So we brightened everything up with the white and light gray. Uh, but I did not paint in here, even though I still want to. So that's one of the things that I still want to do in the future. <laughs> but I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> and then you come in here and this is our uh, workout area. So it's just kind of a loft that overlooks the family room. Um, but we have our like, bench set up and um, we have like walking treadmills that we use to get walks in so we just have them, you can take them in and watch TV while you walk or whatever. We have one underneath my husband's bed as well. So that's kind of nice. We can walk together. Um, and then it leads back around into the game room area. So it's just kind of a circle. And then come down this hall and we have another laundry room up here, which it is a mess. We did not go through and clean it. Some big bag of garbage and yeah. And one of my kids love going through the crafts and pulls everything out all the time. So it is, it is not clean in there, but I guess it's maybe a typical laundry room. At least for us, it's typical. <laughs> um, then the boys have their bathroom in here. 
so it's just a shower or bathtub shower um toilet area and then they've got the two sinks okay there you go okay so uh this is three of the boys rooms we had our two boys in the nursery and we have three more boys in here so we have two double bunk beds so there's two boys in one bed and one boy in the other bed and I guess they built a tent in here. <laughs> so, and um, this is their version of clean. So I know it's not clean, but I didn't help them this time. So this is how it looks. <laughs> um, they have all their bins. So uh, there's three boys in here. So one, each boy is a different color. The top bins are seasonal clothes. Um, so like right now they have shorts or uh, swimsuits and tank tops or whatever in their seasonal bins. And then they'll have regular clothes and then the winter will switch them out. Um, and then uh, their closet is mainly their toys and we have, I think, extra blankets and pillows and stuffed animals that they don't really play with. So stuff that just kind of needs to be cleaned up really. But <laughs> anyway, so they've got their, their toy bins and, and then they have shoes, um, shoe bins and toy bins over here. Looks like they... Need to rearrange some of them. <laughs> okay. And then we've got two more boys in here. Um, and again, they don't really know what clean is either, but at least they can see the carpet. So two two more boys are in here. So this is William and James. Okay, so this is our 16-year-old's room. Um, so he does have his own room. So we have eight boys in the house. Our oldest son has been, is married and moved out. So he's no longer here. So we have eight boys in the house. They're all upstairs. This is our office. So we actually share this office. We kind of made it into a studio. So um, this is like my husband's kind of side of it. Anyway, so he's got his workstation. I've got my workstation. Um, and then we have an area where we can even have meetings and stuff and well, have our kids in here. <laughs> so. We built this bench in um, to have more seating in here. Um, and then you probably recognize this. This is kind of where I do a lot of my videos. Um, anyway, so this is our office though. And yeah, <laughs> it's a lot more user friendly. It used to be extremely um, tight and crowded. It felt like there was no room. It's actually got quite a bit of room in it. We just opened it up. Um, it used to have cabinets all along the sides and the back um, with the big desk in the middle. So we just kind of cleared it out and uh, did our desk along the outside edge. And it, anyway, made it a lot more user friendly and gave us a lot more work, working room. Thanks for touring my home with me. Let me know in the comments what you thought. If you want to see what my house used to look like, you can watch this video. <laughs> and thanks for watching. <laughs> <All right. laughs>